check it out over there we have a brand new shopping center a new super route so i want to share with you today food prices in mauritius Despite the pandemic and a very definite slowdown in the economy on the island, there still seems to be a lot of building work going on. This is the most recent one, it's called the Cœur du Tamara. It opened up about a month ago and there are some quite interesting shops, but the thing that I love the most is the art. Check out this art behind me, not bad, eh? It's pretty cool, in fact it's one of the nicest features of this place. Taking a look inside the mall, and there's an array of shops ranging from fashion to technology, body shops, food courts, furniture, and of course, there's this brand new Superu. This is the main reason why I'm here. I want to show you how much it would cost if I was to pick up a few things to make, for example, a chicken curry. I've shopped in such a way that I've bought goods from each of the five food groups. So I've got a little something from dairy, vegetables, fruits, grains and protein. I've also added in some local beer just to give you an example of alcohol prices. Although some fruit and veg are grown here, it is important to remember that Mauritius is a small island and therefore a lot of stuff is imported from England, France, South Africa and Australia. So this is obviously going to affect prices. In Mauritius there are several supermarkets, you've got Intermart, Winners, Food Lovers and of course Superu and um, the prices do tend to vary depending on where you go. So what did it cost me? Milk came to 40 rupees and 75 cents. It's difficult to find fresh milk here so this is, uh, we usually buy this UHT long life milk. The chicken ranged from 95 rupees to 120 rupees. I bought some spice, which was 19 rupees. Basmati rice was 51 rupees and 84 cents. Some fresh fruit and veg. These are apples from South Africa and then a locally grown pepper. A tin of tomatoes was 34 rupees and 50 cents and then a packet of imported pasta. I also bought a packet of biscuits, some Nutella bars, a loaf of bread, and last but not least, some beer. This is local craft beer made on the island. Thirsty Fox, I can't recommend it more. Love Thirsty Fox. That brings the total cost of this shop to 757 rupees and 80 cents. So that's an example for you of how much food costs here in Mauritius. I hope that helped you in some way, perhaps if you're thinking of coming to live here or if you're planning a holiday here, maybe this will help you budget a bit better. Let me know where you live and whether or not you found it useful and also expensive. And that's it for this week and I do hope to see you again very soon. McDonald's seriously seriously <laughs> really <laughs> oh dear looks like we're going in there my worst place ever very good mm. yeah. the drink is perfect and we got fries and toys that white dog over there that's piglet she was rescued um, a couple of months ago on the side of the road. She's doing really well, by the way.